Hello everybody, good to see you again. Um, I'm going today to make some pickles, some mixed pickles. It's the same technique we use for dill pickle, cucumber pickle, uh, but today I'm going to show you a little secret. Um, what we have here is some kosher salt. I'm going to use as much as I need. I'm going to keep dropping until I have enough kosher salt. Some aniseed, bay leaves, cloves, black peppercorns, uh, some dried dill, some mustard powder, some red pepper flakes, brown sugar, and here I have some couple of onions I quartered and some garlic that I'm gonna leave with the peel. I already put a couple of whole heads of garlic in here. And also I'm pickling the bottom half of the asparagus. A um, couple of sweet, sweet peppers, some shiitake mushrooms. And this is a very large turnip that I found here in the market and I thought I would use it. Of course, I did say the brown sugar already. Here I have a liter of white vinegar and a cup and a half of red, not red, of apple cider vinegar. So I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna put my two, two tablespoons of sugar in the vinegar and all my other ingredients, all the spices and herbs. I'm gonna stir them, make sure they're well mixed. Very, very simple. And this is gonna fit like a three liter jar that I have here. So that's all the vinegar I'm gonna use. Whatever I have, if I have any space left over, I'm just gonna add water. And I'm just gonna add, this is, by the way, this is pickling salt or rock salt. It's pure salt, there's nothing in it. So just pure sea salt. I've added one teaspoon already. I'm gonna make sure it melts very, very well. Taste it. Make sure it's not too salty. No, it's perfect. I can use the rest actually. There. That's fantastic. And while this melts down and everything softens up, I'm gonna start filling my jar here. Let me not take everything, I'll, I'll do whatever, whatever I can. I'll put it. Whatever I can, I can use it, I can cook it. Some mushrooms. And everything that we see here pickles very, very well. Some onions. More garlic here. More turnips. This is a very large turnip. I found it very lucky to find that big, beautiful, gorgeous turnip. Half of it, we're only pickling half. The other half, we're gonna use it in the soup. There we go. Let's stick that mushroom in there. Oh yeah, it's perfect. I'm press it down, I wanna press it down. took about 30 seconds for my eggshells to be like that. See that? Perfect. Now I'm just gonna transfer them in there. And what happens is the calcium in the eggshells acts as a certain type of preservative. It keeps things crunchy and keeps it color. And it stays green if it's green, it stays red if it's red. And it stays crunchy. And it's pickled. It's pickled very well, but it keeps the color and the crunch. 
and it's not chemical, like some companies use chemicals to do that same effect. It's natural, uh, it's organic, and it works like magic. I'll make sure I have both, and that's the shells of two eggs there. And literally, it took me 30 seconds to grind them up. Now I'm just gonna wash this. Basically, that's it. Now I just add my liquid. And like I said, the rest are filled with water. and they will be fresh and don't make a mess as I'm making here I'll just let these sit close our jar up and wait and we have our pickles fantastic you want to shake it up a little bit make sure everything goes everywhere you don't have to do that but we're done pickles are done Thanks again for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share our videos. And until next time, hopefully I'll show you what these will be like in some video in the next couple of weeks. This will be probably about a week before it's gonna be ready to start. Maybe three days, but I'll wait a week at least. See you then, bye for now.